Hello IG Garage family, is your check engine light on? Showing the P0005 code? This is a rare but serious issue related to the fuel shutoff valve a control circuit open. If left unchecked, it can lead to fuel delivery problems, engine hesitation, or even failure to start. In today's video, we'll cover what the P0005 code means, where the fuel shutoff valve sensor is located, very important, and how to diagnose and fix it. And don't forget at the end, I'll suggest two more videos to help you out. P0087, fuel rail, system pressure too low, and P0088, fuel rail, system pressure too high. Let's get started. What does P0005 mean? The P0005 code stands for Fuel Shutoff Valve A Control Circuit Open. This means the fuel shutoff valve which controls the flow of fuel in the system is either not receiving power, has an open circuit, or is malfunctioning. If the shutoff valve isn't working properly, it can cause fuel starvation, leading to rough idling, poor acceleration, or even the engine shutting off while driving. Symptoms of P0005 Check engine light on Hard starting or no start condition Engine hesitation or stalling Reduced fuel efficiency Erratic engine performance Common causes of P0005 1. Faulty fuel shutoff valve 2. Broken or corroded wiring in the fuel shutoff valve circuit 3. Faulty ECM, that's the engine control module 4. Blown fuse or relay related to the fuel shutoff system and 5. Poor ground connection in the fuel shutoff valve circuit Sensor location, very important, where is the fuel shutoff valve located? Near the fuel pump or fuel rail the fuel shutoff valve is usually found near the high-pressure fuel pump or attached directly to the fuel rail. Some vehicles place it inside the fuel tank, integrated with the fuel pump assembly. Close to the fuel lines, in many diesel and gasoline engines the fuel shutoff valve is located along the main fuel lines especially in direct injection systems. Alright so, next up we need to check the wiring harness, follow the wiring from the ECM to the fuel shutoff valve, and, you know, look for any loose, damaged, or corroded wires that could cause an open circuit. Now let's move on to inspecting the fuel shutoff valve. Locate the fuel shutoff valve and visually inspect it for any damage or dirt buildup. If it's clogged or faulty, well, it may need to be replaced. Finally, we need to check the wiring and connections. Look for any broken, disconnected, or corroded wires around the fuel shutoff valve. And of course, make sure the connectors are securely plugged in. Okay, so step three is to test the voltage and circuit. You'll want to use a multimeter to test the voltage going to the fuel shutoff valve. If the circuit is open, you should definitely check for a blown fuse or a faulty relay. Moving on to step 4, it's time to check the fuel pressure. If the valve is stuck closed, the engine might not get enough fuel. On the flip side, if it's stuck open, the engine could get too much fuel, which can lead to high pressure issues. 5. Clear the code and test drive. Once repairs are complete, use an OBD2 scanner to clear the code. Take the car for a test drive and see if the check engine light returns. So, that's everything you need to know about P0005, fuel shutoff valve A control circuit open. Start by checking the fuel shutoff valve, wiring and fuses. If needed, replace the valve or fix any damaged wiring. Before you go, make sure to watch these related videos. 1. P0087, fuel rail, system pressure too low. 2. P0088, fuel rail, system pressure too high. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more car fixes from IG Garage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.